Hey friends, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist with today's Schumann Resonance Report for Wednesday, January 31st. Seriously, this has been the longest, slowest, fastest month I've ever experienced. Time is just weird. All right, here's the graph. We are still integrating this, but what I heard this morning is this was kind of the cut off here from all the elevation, all the illumination energy that we received, and now we're in this integration phase. Here's the other graph. As you can see, we are still getting a push of new energy here in the solar plexus, a little bit of release in the sacral and the root and the third eye and the throat and heart. So all kinds of stuff happening in our energies today. For me, my ascension symptoms have really kicked up a notch in the last like 24 hours. Something's definitely different and I don't know what it is, but that's okay because it's awesome. For me, I am having a ton of ringing in my ears. I'm also having a lot of call to uh, be alone, kind of sit and meditate and think about things, but not really think about them, like sit in them. I don't know how to explain. I'm also having a ton of spiritual hot flashes. All right, and before you guys jump all over my comments and tell me I'm just having a hot flash, I want you to know I'm in control of my body and I know what's normal for me, and this is not normal. A spiritual hot flash for me is an overwhelming sense of heat throughout my entire body all at one time. Um, out of nowhere, usually, it comes with, a lot of the time, a feeling of anxiety because the heat is so intense. Um, as a matter of fact, last night it was happening so much that I went and stood outside barefoot in shorts and a tank top because I was so hot. Anybody who knows me knows that ain't a thing. Spiritual hot flashes are a real thing and it's a big symptom for a lot of people. I want you to think about it this way. And the reason I'm talking about this one in particular is because I had a couple people ask me about it. Energy, the movement of energy produces heat, friends. What happens when you boil water? You excite the molecules, they start to move faster, they boil, it gets hot. When energy is moving in your body, it speeds up, it moves fast, it produces heat, it produces energy, energy's hot. Also what I heard with today is this is a good time for contemplation about some of the things that you're holding yourself back on. And I know I say that a lot, but it came up in the cards too. What do you have to believe about yourself in this moment to think you can't do something? What is it? What is it? When you're struggling with anxiety, when you're struggling with depression, when you're struggling with anger, I want you to stop yourself today and just ask, what do I have to believe about myself in this moment to have this feeling? Because nobody can make you feel anything. Circumstances can influence you, but it is always up to you how you react always. So today as you're going through your day, do yourself a favor and really start to look into those feelings. What do I have to believe about myself right now to feel the way I do? This illumination energy as it starts to integrate, there's going to be more ideas coming to the surface. Again, I want to caution you, just write them down. You don't have to do it all right now today. I mean, there's no hurry. Where are you going? But write them down so you don't forget, friends. All right, and here's our cards for today. The first card that came out is reminding us it's time to release those burdens that we're holding on to because whatever burden you're holding onto is knocking you out of balance. Releasing these burdens, these things that you're so hard focused on that you literally can do nothing about is not going to help you and it makes you out of balance. Letting go of those things that you cannot control will help you tremendously. Also, we get the lack of faith card. This tells me that some of us are really struggling with the um, ability to believe in ourselves, especially with all these changes coming through. Like, how am I supposed to do this? What am I going to do? What if they judge me? All this does is bring up conflict in your energy. You are really being encouraged today. We are all being encouraged today to let go of these things that bring up a feeling of conflict, that bring up a feeling of burden. Why? Because when you let go of those things, it leads to a brighter future. Look at him walking off into the sunset with those beautiful butterflies. Brighter future right around the corner. But legitimately, you got to get out of your head. How about today? Like just for today, what if we make a promise to each other to not overthink anything? I won't overthink anything and I won't judge my reactions and I'll acknowledge all the decisions I make today. I'll take responsibility for my choices. How about you too? Let's do it together. We'll be friends today. We'll do it together. It's a chore. It's a challenge. I love it. All right. I don't know if the sun is mad at me or nah, because you know what? Even if I can't see that beautiful sun, I can see the birds in the sky. I can feel the breeze on my face. I can hear all the beautiful animals. <sighs> what a beautiful day, beautiful day.